Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Now, we all most likely have the older relative that wants to stay in contact while on the go, but doesn't want the kerfuffle and fuss of using a smartphone, nor have those sometimes irritating notifications that come along with an Android handset. And well, this week we are doing something different, and we thought we'd try and get hold of a cheap light phone that is easy and simple to use. And well, I think we have it with this MFU M670 mobile phone. We do like to just things up here on the Go Get Yours channel, and like to review interesting and sometimes weird stuff just like the pepsi bottle phone which we recently reviewed you can check that out just after this video now we got this m670 for 13 pounds at the time of this recording that's around 16 in us dollars and not only may it be good for older people but say if your young ones are indeed going on a camping trip with school and they don't want to take the risk of taking a more expensive phone then this mfu m670 may be good as a backup phone so without further ado let's have a quick look so there's an image depiction of the actual mobile phone itself to the front of the box. This particular mobile phone only comes in a black version. And to the back, well, there's some specifications and features, but we're really going to get into them very shortly. Let's just quickly get inside. We have, well, we got the phone to the top, which we'll just place to the side for now. Underneath, we have one quite long micro USB charge cable. We also have a European plug, which the USB charge cable simply inserts into the bottom. I also must add that you actually do get an adapter with this. So let's take the box away and well, let's look at the mobile phone itself. Oh, yes. Oh, it actually does look like um, an old Nokia. <laughs> but yeah, it's a basic, uh, basic phone. So I'm doubting that it's got touchscreen. So let's quickly go over a few features. So the screen is 2.4 inch. It is a TFT screen. Let's just take the film off the front. So yeah, as I'm taking this off guys, this phone isn't to be took seriously. Like I said, it's a backup phone. Um, so you're not gonna get anything amazing with it. I don't think anyway. But yeah, kind of looks nice for a cheap answer that is. So to the top of the phone, we've got the receiver. On the left side, we have a dial one answer key. There's also a dial two key just above. To the right, we have a call end and power on button. To the center, we've got that directional navigation button. And in the middle of that, we've got the OK selection key. We've got a normal soft touch keypad, which some of the buttons can actually be programmed for shortcuts too. So yes, central is the MFU logo, but to the rear, we have a speaker to the top, a 0.3 megapixel camera. Ooh, and you get some good snaps. It also comes with a flash, but it does also act as a torch too. But moving to the bottom, we have that micro USB charge port, a 3.5 millimeter earphone port, and a microphone just to the left. And that's about it really for the features. I mean, yes, it's got some chrome edge detail. The casing is matte black. And taking the back case off, oh, simple. Well, this phone comes with a 1000 mAh battery, which is kind of low. Let's take the battery out. And yes, indeed, this phone is dual SIM. So yes, you have a standard size SIM, a micro SIM, and a memory card slot, which does take memory cards up to 16 gigabytes. Let's take the protective film of the battery. While we're here, we're just gonna carefully insert this eight gigabyte memory card. Let's go ahead and place the SIM card in, making sure we put the flat end in first. Let's slide it in, making sure that the SIM card sits correctly to the left side of the slot. So let's place the battery in and see if it's any good. Let's slide that back cover back on and turn the power on. MFU! MFU! This power on kind of quick. So yes, indeed, this is a 2G phone. And right, let's unlock the old fashioned way. Um, if I remember, it's, is it dial and star? Yep. So the screen's nice and bright. Let's go to the menu. And what do we have? So we've got my contacts, which is basically messaging, phone book and call center. Let's go down, we've got my apps. So you've got things like games. We've got F1 race. Let's check that out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is fantastic. Hoo -hoo -hoo, check the graphics, boy. I mean, it's nothing special. Let's just crash it on purpose. <laughs> so you're not going to get many games. I can't believe you actually got settings for that. Uh, you've got auto call record. Okay, so that's kind of cool. You can record your call. So if you're getting harassed, if you've got some girl on your case, hand it to police. See ya. Check this girl out. Stalking me. So yes. Oh. You got magic voice. <laughs> so when you're making a call, you can actually change your voice to a man. Woman, or to a child. So this is what my voice is like with a voice changer. Oh, come on, everybody. 
<laughs> blacklist so if you've got those numbers you don't want you can reject or add them to your block list so you know you've got all the usual things that you basically get on a nokia brick phone um super battery so you can click that to on and what that does is it makes the screen basically dismal you see there's a little uh, love art on the battery which means you're saving power we got the media center let's check the camera out Okay, so from the angle I'm looking down at the phone at, I can't actually see what I'm filming. The screen is quite dismal. But let's take a snap, shall we? Well, that's basically at its best setting. Let's take another picture on it. You know what? I think it's got zoom. <laughs> it's got zoom, not that you're going to need it. And after all, the camera is only 0 0.3 megapixels. I mean, this is going right back within the days. Oh my God, actually, you know what? It's got exposure value too. Okay. Let's check that out. You don't want to be taking photography shots with this camera, put it that way. Let's switch it to video. But the way it's recording like that. Hello guys and we welcome back. I wonder what this uh, camera's going to do. Woo! Look at that. Whoa. Is it this cold? So the video files are saved in AVI files. We've got their voice recorder. Hello guys and welcome back. I wonder how clear my voice actually sounds on this voice recorder. So their voice file is AMR. Hello guys and welcome back. I wonder how clear my voice actually sounds on this voice recorder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, FM radio, let's shut out. work. Even without the earphones. Ooh, check the sound. I mean, to say the truth, that's kind of loud. Um, well, it's not exactly perfect. Perfect. Okay, so guys, I plugged in uh, some headphones into this phone and sound is kind of terrible, really. There's a bit of a distortion like interference. Now I think it's through the socket itself. Try some earphones, see if it's still the same. Ouch. Nope, I plugged in some earphones and the sound is flat as hell. Terrible. Because this is based upon a Nokia, it only takes certain headphones and earphones. So yeah, playing music through the speaker is probably the best option. So connectivity, let's see what Bluetooth options this phone has. Search new device. Oh, it's connected by Bluetooth. Let's check the audio now. Oh my God. Guys, <laughs> just check this out, listen. No! <laughs> And yeah, so that's the multimedia done. The organizer, so we got a torch, just turn that on. Oh, look at that. Wow, disco, disco. Disco, disco. <laughs> so yes, like I said, we've got the torch, we've got the calendar, we've got the lamb, all the usual stuff, calculator, file manager, memory card and phone. We've got the internet. A connection failed. <laughs> but let's see what the call quality is like. Hello? Can you hear me clear? I'm on speakerphone. I can hear you now. All right. No, I just want to see if there's any delay. So if I ask you an easy question, yeah, could you be able to answer it straight away? Yeah. Okay, what two main football teams are in Manchester? Ah. United and two. I know it's a simple question, but I'm just finding that there's a kind of a delay from me asking you the question to your actual feedback. What's my voice like on the other end of this phone? It's not the best quality. So is it muffled? Is it muffled? I mean, yeah, it's a basic phone. It's got internet, a music player, radio player, voice recorder. That's a pretty standard camera. It's not the best phone in the world, we all know that. It is just a simple pack up phone. And like I said, I got this from banggood.com for around about 13 pounds. Would this be good for someone like me? No, not really. I mean, unless I'm gonna use it as a burner phone. Ah, I don't miss that, I'll tell you that now. Jesus. Christ, you're not going to be wanting to use it out in public, but if you need an emergency phone, you need to throw in the glove box of your car, you pick up a hitchhiker, card, took over your car, grab the phone quick, run, phone the police, done, got a nice backup phone. But no, seriously guys, if you've got an older person in your family that wants a simple phone, it's slim enough, the screen's bright enough, easy to read, then why not have a quick glance at this, I think, yeah. If I was to rate this phone out of my usual rating out of 10, well, basically, remember that this is in a budget range category. Well, in a very, very low budget range category. And based upon that category, I'm going to rate this MFU mobile phone 
6 out of 10. Anyway guys, I hope this review helped today. I know it's not my usual kind of stuff I like to review, but then I like unusual stuff. Go ahead and smash that like button. Please subscribe, making sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. I'll see you guys over on my new review which will be coming very soon so stay tuned for that. And well, thanks for watching. Peace. We've got some buttons such as a piece of fluff on my finger just there. Wait.